guess where we're going today? We are going to Vancouver, Canada. We're gonna do some major thrifting. It's gonna be amazing. first thrift store is hopping it is so busy there was like zero parking tons of people coming in that is so pretty this pretty little needlepoint. Kind of like that for $9.99. Look how cute this is. Wait. What? Made in Hungary. Look at that cute little figure. That is really interesting. Six candles. Look how cute this little swan is. And it's 50% off today, plus my exchange rate. These are so pretty. Portugal? I will be in the Netherlands. Ooh, funky.
and this time I'm gonna bring my own bag just in case and uh, we are at the next stop which is called World Serve and we're gonna go see what we could find so far it's been an amazing thrift day Oh my gosh, look how cute this chair is. I am so tempted. I spotted this from 20 feet away. I think it's really cool. What a great cover. store we're still in white rock um and it looks more like clothing and accessories but it is a non-profit so let's go take a look <laughs> for the set on these? That's correct, yeah. Those are so cool. Somebody must have donated their owl collection. Because look at this guy. I got this really cool brass hourglass timer. It was $15, which makes it a little over like $11 US. And I saw it almost as I was checking out. I don't know how old it is, but it's super cool and it's going to my booth. So all the yellow tags in that store were 50% off. I spotted this really cool teapot it's asian but it has a majolica look to it and this looks to be like a duck so it's like a duck teapot originally they had 
uh, $39.99. So it was $20 Canadian. I got this really cool Studio Pottery vase. I just love the shape of it. And this one was only um, $4.99. No, probably like four dollars us i hope somebody loves this i thought it was awesome it is this beautiful little swan dish and this one was also 50 percent off so my gosh originally they had like 22 dollars on it so half off would have made it 11.50 canadian so even though the store was tiny i found these adorable adorable and beautifully painted Mexican owl bookends. Look how cool these are. They're amazing. And these ones were only $10. So make, making them $7.50 after the conversion. Aren't they the sweetest? I couldn't believe that these were still on the shelf. They are so pretty. They are these little trinket dishes. And one is a bunny and one is a bird. And they are just beautiful. They are unmarked. At, and so I don't know like who makes them. I haven't looked them up. But they were $6 a piece. And I thought for that price with the conversion I had to grab them. Because look how pretty. I wonder if the same person that donated those trinket boxes donated this. Because look how beautiful it is. And it almost feels like it's in that same color scheme of red and blue. And this one was only $2.50. So that was a really, really good deal. On the way out of this store, I spotted this really sweet little, it looks like a little clutch, but it is actually a traveling jewelry case with this really wonderful orange velour on the inside. And this one was $6.50. I always love art and I totally fell for this beautiful original. Gosh, maybe it's a painting. Maybe it's a print. Now it's hard for me to tell, you know, and it looks rather contemporary, but then you flip it on the back and look how old that tag is. And this one was $6. At this store, I found this really sweet little landscape. It looks like Italy maybe, or I don't know, Greece, Turkey. I'm not totally positive. But anyways, I like it. It's not old, but it was only $4 and I really love the color. Spotted this one from across several aisles. It totally caught my attention because I thought it, the colors and the pattern, the design on it were so unusual. And come to find out, this is like super popular. It is a Barrett Moonma to Dream by Pam Hall, and you saw the comp on it. I spotted this, like, coffee table book. I just love the cover. The cover is absolutely beautiful. Millennium, Tribal Wisdom, and the Modern World, and it was only $2. I couldn't resist this needlepoint of this like little English Tudor village. Interestingly enough, it also reminds me of the Netherlands where I'm going in just like a week and a half. Good morning, 
we are off. It is almost 10 o'clock and we're heading to a Salvation Army, which turned out to be like one of my favorite thrift store chains in Canada. Let's go see what we can find. Wow, this is a very, very fancy Salvation Army. Look how cool that storefront is. I am excited because it already feels like a good thrifting day that we're going to find a ton of stuff. Look at all that stuff. I am excited to get inside. What is that? So I walked out with a few different things. I love these little Aztec Mexican Onyx bookends. I mean, they weren't super cheap. They were $15, but I had a 20% coupon and the conversion rate is 25%. So my gosh, I think I got them for $10, which I think is totally reasonable. I got this guy. He's an anatomical model. And what's really interesting is these are all acupuncture points. So Vancouver, if you didn't know, is a very, very diverse um, area with a lot of Asian citizens from all over Asia. So it's not uncommon to find a lot of Asian items, Asian decor, and so but this is really cool. And these are actually quite valuable online. So I was happy to find them and I paid $19.99 before the conversion rate. So I got this plant stand. I didn't put it on there right, um, but I did pay up. I mean, $29.99. Um, and of course with my discount, my conversion, but it's going to sell. It'll sell in either the booth or my store. It would sell online, but I'm just going to take it there. so cool. It's broken. Totally broken on the top. There's another one of those boxes. Enamel box. So cool. I love this orange color. This is fabulous. I mean, it's still 15 US. I think it's worth it. So I like these. These are two dollars a piece, and there's six of them. It's so twelve dollars. So that's a good deal. Cool. I think I found another great coffee table book. Look at this. That is so pretty. Good cover. Look at this fun guy. I think he's a deer. He doesn't have a price, so we're gonna have to ask. So this is the last car haul for this day. Let me show you what I found. So I got this absolutely gorgeous 
beautiful. It's almost like an amberina. No, an amberina. Maybe like an amberina ashtray, but I feel like it's more orange. Anyways, it is stunning. It was $7.99. I got this amazing coffee table book. It is Provence Interiors and it has just absolutely the most amazing, stunning, beautiful photographs. I'm gonna enjoy it during my downtime while I'm here. I paid $5.99 for it. I got this really cool carved deer. He really has an abstract mid-century modern look. I don't know if you could even see him. He is quite tall and he didn't have a price on him and so they put a price of $6.99 and I was totally happy with that so he's coming home with me raided one of the carts as it was coming out I couldn't believe there wasn't like a ton of people around it but there wasn't and I got ugh, these are just filthy too two this these cute little needlepoint framed pieces of art um these are extremely popular right now and so they are super lovely i mean you know my inclination is to put these online because i know they would sell there but um i don't really have time to list anything before i leave so i think these are going to go to the booth and each one was $7.99 so I debated getting this one, another, another needlepoint, and apparently this is a very common um, design with this lady and this little dog. It's all over online, um, but again, this is going to go to my booth, um, and the prices were just all over the place as well, but I thought it was really pretty, and... You know, I was a little hesitant with the $15.99 price, but again, there's the discount and the conversion. So I went ahead and took it. I have to say this is one of the cutest things that I've picked up today. And that is this sweet little dog. What is that? Is that a Pekingese? Absolutely cute in this little oval frame. I don't know how to hang. I don't know how it would hang. I guess you could put a little wire there and hang it from the wire. And this one was also $7.99. And people are crazy about dogs. So I don't think this one's going to last very long. But I just thought it was absolutely adorable. So thanks for joining me on this awesome Canadian thrifting adventure. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And if you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting yourself, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you, that you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video.